Welcome to M. Spanner & Sons. I'm Brendan Murphy here with, uh, with our team. We're thrilled to have you here again for another one of our live streams of the winners of the Steinway Society of Massachusetts Piano Competition. We've got a great, great young artist for you tonight. And, but before we get into that, I want to introduce Ms. Christina Dietrich, the Artistic Director of the Steinway Society of Massachusetts. Christina, please. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, Brendan, for that introduction. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this evening's concert of the 2020 Steinway Society Piano Competition Winners Concert Series. What a year 2020 has been. With the onset of COVID-19, everything, as we knew, was turned upside down. All events were canceled, and we were just scrambling to try to share the arts, to create the art, so we were in a very difficult position. More so than ever, we realized that we needed to support young artists in their endeavors. That is for that reason that the Steinway Society of Massachusetts, along with our main sponsor, M. Steiner & Sons, decided that we will have our competition go virtual. And I am pleased to share with all of you that over 90 participants from the northeast quarter of the United States as well as parts of Canada shared their videos, their performances with us via YouTube from ages 5 through 18 for all three divisions. So we congratulate all those young artists that participated and we applaud your hard work. At this time I'd like to acknowledge our three amazing judges, Dr. Lisa Cleveland, Professor Michael Kramer, and Professor Konstantinos Papadakis for your tremendous support and work in picking this group of winners for this concert series. Our judges spent three days watching, listening, discussing, and deliberating all of these performances, so they put a lot of TLC into this decision, so thank you very, very much for that. We would like to thank our main sponsor, M. Steinert & Sons, for allowing us access to this amazing Spirio, Steinway Spirio R, as you will learn a little bit more about later. We can't wait to hear our young artists this evening performing on it. Speaking of our young artist, I would like to introduce you to Miss Sarah Kavish. Mm -hmm. Sarah is our second place winner in Division Two. She is 15 years old, a sophomore at Braintree High School, and she studies with Miss Hewiman Wang at the South Shore Conservatory. How are you this evening, Sarah? Good, thank you very much. Are you excited to be here? Yes, thank you. What a tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations on your win. This is huge. She is a tremendous, tremendous artist, this young lady, at 15 already. She has multiple competition top prizes from international competitions from here in the United States as well as in Europe and other places in the world, Russia and Spain, to name a few, and has performed on many concert stages around the world, including several performances at Carnegie Hall. So that's quite a resume for someone at any age, forget about it, 15. So she's quite amazing. She also has other interests, from what I understand. You are quite the visual artist. Do you draw, paint? Um, I work with a digital tablet and I like to use that medium to draw. That's amazing. So she had expresses her art and her soul in many, many ways. So this is quite amazing. This evening, Sarah will be performing the first movement of Beethoven's Sonata in E flat major, opus 31, number three, by Ludwig van Beethoven, and the first scherzo, B minor, opus 20, by Frederick Chopin. Is there anything you would like to share about your piano journey with us? Um, I feel it's your experience with piano um, isn't really just you and piano, it's mainly your teacher. Um, because I find that even with school subject, uh, subjects and, and just not with piano, that your experience really depends on how your teacher chooses to teach you. Mm -hmm. 
how, what, how prolific, how prolific. So it is definitely a team effort, parents, teacher, and your great talent that work together to produce this great work of art. Would you like to share something about your future plans, what you will be doing? Right now you're a sophomore, so you're thinking about college. Um, yes, I, a lot of my friends are deciding their careers at the moment, and I'm finding it really difficult to choose, because I would very much like to pursue piano, but uh, I'm unsure if I may have other interests, because I have never tried very much else. I guess it's very difficult being so talented. <laughs> God bless you, and I hope everyone else would have that much talent. Well, I would love to invite you now all to listen to Miss Sabatardev performing on the piano.
magnificent performance that was so musical. I love your approach to the piano. It's so lyrical and yet so full of life. And she's only 15. This is what's always so hard to understand. It's like, how is this old soul there? It's magnificent playing. Congratulations, my dear. Really, to, uh, to you and to your teacher, human mind who couldn't be here, and to your wonderful family. Congratulations on this tremendous accomplishment, because it is really it is a team effort to accomplish this. So, uh, First of all, I'd like to invite your mom, Mrs. Tardif, to come up and present you with your beautiful silver medal. So thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Congratulations once again to Sarah on this wonderful performance and this tremendous accomplishment. And we hope that you will join us next week for the next concert on this series. But before we go, I'd like to invite Mr. Brendan Murphy to share a few thoughts. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I want to show you something. <laughs> Congratulations, that was awesome. Thank you very much. I know you said you like the piano. We didn't talk about this before, but you may, if you have seen any of these streams so far, I know your mom has been watching these. <laughs> but this is actually, so this is a Stein May B, seven foot grand. I know you're familiar with this because you have one at home. And there's one at South Shore Conservatory that when you do your recitals, you play, right? This piano, those pianos and this piano are all a seven foot Steinway. Takes a year to build this piano. Two, over 200 craftspeople's hands touch this piano so that you can do what you just did, which is amazing. This piano, in addition to being a Steinway, is a Steinway Stereo R, which means that we just capture your entire performance live in the piano and we can play it back for you and I want to just show you it's just going to load in so this is all controlled via iPad this piano can play back your performance you can analyze it by sitting there and listening back to what you play you can also analyze it by looking at the screen when you can see this you did two beautiful pieces so it takes a second to load into the screen but it's really it's it's the next thing in technology the piano you wouldn't you didn't know that that was capturing your performance did you when you were playing did you feel any did you feel any robots in there did you feel any oh i didn't feel anything at all. <laughs> good because it's there's nothing there it's just a stymie but it is capturing your performance at 800 times per second, over a thousand levels of touch sensitivity per key. So all that nuance that you performed with can get captured in the piano. So here's your performance. We can see this is this is the, the visual representation of your performance. So but before we get too far into that, let's go back to the beginning and we can give you an example. So if I just hit play here, it will load in. One moment, please. Such a long, beautiful piece. <laughs> you can also, and you see this down here is your pedaling. So in addition to capturing your performance on the keys, it captures your performance on the pedaling at uh, 256 different pedal positions. So that, you get a lot of your expression, all pianists do, from, from their pedaling as well as their, their, their finger. So it's, a, it's really a special thing. So here we, we see the cursor continuing on. You're getting ready. Your foot's on the pedal.
that's just a sample. But we have the whole piece, and you're welcome to play around with it and check it out. But just look at this. You can see, look at how accurate your playing is. You can, I mean, listening to it, you can hear how accurate and how beautiful it is. But then this gives you a different representation of it, and you can analyze it. Have you ever heard yourself play like that before? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, have you recorded yourself before, undoubtedly, in lessons and things? What if this piano were at South Shore Conservatory in Miss Huimin's studio? You could sit there, and I bet you've had this, and Huimin and I know each other. I bet she has said, well, maybe you should play it more like this or more like that. And you're thinking to yourself, I thought that's what I did, right? Because you use a different part of your brain when you're playing than when you're sitting back and listening. So if you had this, this piano... She says, I think like this, I think like that. And you said, I thought I did that. You can both sit back and listen again. And then you can say, oh, that's what she meant. You know? It, we're just excited with what people like you will be able to do with this product going forward. So anyway, that's the uh, Steinway Spirio R. Wonderful performance. Thank you for coming in. And thank everybody for listening. We're here at M. Steiner & Sons at 1069 Washington Street, our new flagship showroom here in... Beautiful West Newton. So come visit anytime. And that's it for tonight. Signing off.